Well, a brand new study that may change how early life is considered viable. A team of researchers led by physicians at the University of Iowa finding a small number of premature babies born at 22 weeks who received the right treatment can survive and also a small number survived with few health problems later on. This barometer for when a premature baby can successfully receive treatment is raising a lot of questions in the medical community and beyond. Let's talk about the significance with Dr. Carla Simonian. She's an OBGYN teaching staff on, of Hackensack uh, University Medical Center. Doctor, it's nice to have you back on the program. Thank you. 22 weeks, that's really miraculous to know that a baby potentially, potentially mm -hmm. could survive at just 22 weeks. At 22 weeks, how, how big is the baby? Uh, the baby is extremely small. I mean, if you look at both of my hands cupped, you would hold most of the body of the baby. O oftentimes, the baby is a pound or less at that very early gestational age. How likely is it that if you treat that child, that child will survive? You know, it's unlikely at this point, extremely unlikely. So we don't want to get people's hopes up that at 22 weeks, if a woman's told you're going to deliver imminently now, uh, that it's likely that the baby is going to survive. However, we do know that there are some babies who survive. The majority of those babies will not survive completely intact, however, meaning they may have very severe disabilities. And that was brought up in the study as well, a few different points. One is the, the quality of life that baby would have yes. if there was intervention taking place. What was interesting in the study, though, is that researchers found that in, in some hospitals, mm -hmm. it was never even attempted, so that some of our statistics about how early a child could survive may not be quite as accurate Mm -hmm. because medical professionals perhaps decided that wasn't in the best interest of their patients. Exactly. It's a really tough discussion because, first of all, you know, it depends on how sophisticated your neonatal unit is. Even in the most sophisticated neonatal unit, it's sometimes very difficult. They don't have tubes that are small enough mm. to intubate the child. Um, and it's really just an exercise in futility. And many doctors feel, why am I going to try to save a baby who has very little chance of an intact life, of a quality of life that's worth living? What a, what a difficult judgment mm -hmm. uh, that so many doctors have to mm -hmm. face on a, on a regular basis. The Washington Post had an interesting question that it raised in the article that it discussed this research. It said, listen, uh, 28 weeks as viable has been a marker not only in the medical community but also in the legal community as well because when the Supreme Court ruled for Roe v. Wade they said states could not restrict abortions before 28 weeks because 28 weeks is the cutoff uh, when it was actually mm -hmm. yeah. considered viable. Yes. 28 weeks became 24 right. weeks. My question right. for you now is what about viability? Are we looking even at 22 weeks perhaps? I mean, that is a valid discussion to have, uh, perhaps not 22, that might be too hopeful at this point, but perhaps 23 weeks. Again, um, you know, this is up to the, the people who are most interested in this to, to decide, you know, this is all, these are legal things. Doctors right now look at it completely differently. Um, if a woman does want to pursue an abortion, of course she has the right to do that until 24 weeks. But many doctors, you know, will encourage a woman who they believe with the birth weight of the baby perhaps being more than 500 grams to go ahead and try to deliver this baby and do everything for this baby, depending on the circumstances. Depending, obviously, uh, there's so many different variables mm -hmm. to consider. Just before we let you go, it's just, it's miraculous to think about that, that yeah. a baby this small would be this able time. to have a, a chance at life. And mm -hmm. that must be incredible to watch in your profession. It, it's, it's, it's wonderful, especially if we can show a woman her baby who we thought there was very little chance of survival. Dr. Simonian, it's great to have you back on the program. Thank you very much. You're welcome. John?